All right, the storm is over. And uh, let's see, we have pneumonia. So let's take one of these and take one of those and one of those and one of those and one of those. Get our food buffs all uh, taken care of. And uh, now we are going to go look for some squash for this guy. I gave him some water from my canteen, so he's fine on water. I'm hoping that squash will give him a lot of food. Well, like corn. I, I don't know if corn gives the most food, but it gives a lot. It's making that noise. Oh, that's a zebra. Okay, so we're looking for a, a dark green circular plant here. See, I kind of figured by now we'd be back into the forest on the other end and I could just get some berries for him, but things kind of turned out a little bit differently. Yeah, I don't see any squash all along there. Okay, let's go down this way. This is neat, though. I like this. Turn our lantern off. Oh, there we go. There we go. And of course, there's a freaking scorpion here, too. Leave my bird alone. I don't think we can get these with a sickle, but let's try. Nope. We have to actually pick them. Okay, that gives us four pieces. All right, come here, buddy. Uh, come here. You want to eat or not? 35, 42, so it gives them 7 per. Okay, well, that got him up to 55 anyway. Let's keep looking for some more. And if you were going to do a, a desert base, this wouldn't be a bad spot to do it with all this flowing water for the power. Just set up a whole bunch of water wheels. What's this over here? Oh, that's another river. Gotcha. Okay. Here we go. Lots of squash. All right, Liberty, we're going to feed you real good, buddy. Hold still. There's another one here. We only get one from those, huh? Okay, that gets us food up to 80. Yeah, 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 I know. Oh, good. We got three out of that one. And he's 99%. Fantastic. Okay. So, Liberty's taken care of. He's happy. Let's move over this direction. And we'll keep following the uh, cliff wall here on the west side and move down towards the forest. Looks like a coal deposit. Oh, there's a crock. Yes, indeed. All right, we won't mess with him. We don't need to. Let's 
It's just neat to see this new territory. This is my first time in this area. It's cool too that there's a river here because in the main desert of Olympus, the original map, there's no, well, no, that's not true. There is water. There's a couple of oases, but there's no rivers that I can remember. Um, there is in the canyon lands, but not in the main desert. That's a nice big lake there. I wonder if there's crocs in this lake. I'd like to know for future reference. We know there is in the upper lake. Hey. I'm not seeing any gray logs. Let's run along the perimeter of the lake. Oh, wow. Look at this view. Oh, that is neat. I like this. I'm not spotting any crocodilia in here. Let's go over to this side. Yeah, I dare say that this is a croc-free pond. Some more squash. We're going to leave that squash there, though, because he's going to be fine now for a while. If I pick it, it's just going to go bad. Um, Yeah, this would be a fantastic place for a desert base. Amazing. So we are at this little pond here. We know that pond has crocs. I didn't. I don't think we actually went and looked at that one. Or maybe this is the one we looked at and we didn't look at that one. I don't remember. But this one here, anyways, does not have crocs. So it's very good to know for future reference. Cougars all over the place. All right. How are we supposed to get down from here? Go this way, maybe? Here we go. I think that's a cave. Yes, indeed. Yeah, he's ninety one percent health. He's good. All right, any titanium in here? <laughs> Does not look like it. Nope. Okay. on heading down
Lots and lots of trees and wood and stuff in here. It's like a terraced landscape almost, which is really neat. There probably isn't any scorpions down in here either. They're probably in the high desert. Okay, are there crocs in this ring lake area? Let's see if we can spot any. Not seeing any. The little island on, in the middle of the Ring Lake could be a neat base location. You're still somewhat close to running water, so you could run lines like we did at our place. All right, let's go onto the island for a minute. Watch there be some kind of boss over here. Oh, this would be a neat place for a base. It's nice and flat. problem is all the trees would eventually get blown down by the storm so you wouldn't be able to keep them but yeah pretty neat okay cool let's keep on keeping on we're almost to the gateway into the main river valley here Just kind of looking out there for caves. Oh, neat. Look at that arch. That's cool. Copper, probably. Oh, there's a geyser. Okay, that's good to know. That's the first one we've seen here in the desert. Okay, cool. What time is it? It's 2.30. All right, we got a little bit of daylight left. We are now at the extreme southern end of the desert biome. Or of this desert biome, anyways. And uh, that big hole in front of us is the big cave that leads into the back into the forest. I'm just gonna run down here real quick, take a look see. Oh, wait, maybe this is the passage. Yeah, that's the passage that goes into the forest. Okay, so 
We did see another big cave up here. Then, um, we'll come back down here. Let's go investigate that cave real quick. Where do we see that at? Over here? Yeah, probably right over there, I'm thinking. How's our air tank doing? Yeah, we're good. I don't think I actually replenished that before we left, but it lasts a long time. Man, this is a big cave. Okay, let's... Where are we at? All right, so that's leading that into the mountain. So this has got to be... I'm thinking this is just a normal cave. Here, let's replenish this. What? Wow, okay. It acts like um, a cave, you know, passing into another biome. Let's just follow it for a bit and see what happens. Maybe it intersects with the other one. It's a big pool of water there. We don't even need this on. I don't know why that circles stuck on my screen oh we're in the arctic interesting was my critter keeping me warm because of the buffs that we get we're in the frozen traverse wow okay it's cold man So this must be a passage into the Arctic, then. All right, let's just see where it comes out at. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on our health here. I don't have any heat bandages with me because I wasn't expecting this. Yep, look at that. Right on out into the Arctic. Burr. Okay, so that's a passage then into the Arctic from over here. Well, it's good to, to know that, but we certainly are not equipped to go in this biome, so let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> um, I'm not even going to grab any ore in here, but we know it's here, you know, if we need it for later, so... It's funny, though, that I didn't frost up until I got off the bird. Okay, now we're back in the desert, so we should warm up. I didn't know this was here. Um, I, I knew the other cave was there, of course, because we it's been our destination all along, but I didn't know this cave was here. That's really cool. Hopefully that frost effect will go away here in a minute. If it doesn't, I might need to re-log. Because some of that stuff just doesn't clear when it's supposed to. What happens if we get off the bird and then back on? Does it do anything? No? All right.
Okay. So, I'm going to hop off here and re-log. I think we're far enough in to where we don't need to worry about nasties to get rid of this frost effect. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, let's take a drink of water. And we'll go ahead and move through the cave here into the forest pile. Oh, wait a minute. Is this blocked off? I don't remember this being blocked. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe we go this way. It looks like it's blocked. Wow, really? How come the Arctic one's not blocked? Just going the wrong way. I think this is blocked. Because there's no way to get through over on this side. And we were just down this way. Yeah, this this little section of wall here. Uh not supposed to be here. Well, crap! So why does it let us into the desert and the Arctic, but not into the Great River? I don't get it. Are these walls invisible? <laughs> <coughs> well, I guess we... On the plus side, we have access to a lot of the ore in the early part of it. I'm just looking up there to see can we actually could we actually get up there and I do have some ramps on me. Uh it won't let me attach anything to to there. Self stuck is what's going to happen. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, that is a surprise. We had a good surprise. Passage into the Arctic biome and a, and a not so good surprise. Blockage to get into the main riverlands. Well. Okay, I guess what we should do right at the moment is sleep because it is now nighttime again. And then we'll start working our way back because we've pretty much accomplished everything I came to do on this expedition. Okay, we slept on that rock all night, by the way. It's kind of uncomfortable, not going to lie. this back up huh okay so yeah I guess you cannot get into the uh, the river basin main river big river whatever this place is called I can't remember from here um, when you do when you do a, um, a ring lake start so until we actually do missions to either open up this passage or this passage we're pretty much stuck in these two biomes for the whole rest of this playthrough. So I need to think about what that actually means. Look at this. There's like a little forest biome up in there too. How interesting. Um, I need to think about what that means for us in terms of our how much longer we're going to do this particular playthrough. Because, um, you know, we're getting to the end of open world sandboxing ish i mean that there's still more we can do of course but at some point this character is 
I'm either going to either start running missions with him or I'm just going to delete him and start a new character. So that's not going to happen immediately, but, you know, we need to start kind of thinking about, or I guess I should say I need to start thinking about uh, what's going to happen from there. Um, if this would have been open to us, then that would have, that would have been, uh, lengthened our gameplay a little bit longer because we could have, you know, gone into the, to, to the big river and done more stuff there, but I don't know. We'll see. I am thinking, uh, I'm pondering the possibility of... How's your food, by the way? 68. Yeah, we'll probably stop and get him some more squash on the way back. I'm pondering the possibility of, of doing another series where we try a desert start. But, man, I just don't know if we can do that. That's going to be so brutal. Um, the main reason for why is because we're going to get heat stroke. And we're not going to be able to do anything about it early on. And it's just going to kick our ass. <laughs> so, you know, and... and Last time I was here, we went into a cave. We jumped in water, which should be very cold inside of a cave, even if you are in a desert, and it didn't do it anything. So jumping in, you know, a cave, being in a cave, going into one of the lagoons isn't going to help with that. The only thing that does help is the cold bandage. Is that available to us at Tier 1? Let's get away from the scorpion. I don't remember if that's a Tier 1 or a Tier 2 item. Are we being pursued? I think we're okay. Tech tree, tier one. It is tier one. Okay. All right. So that means we could we could possibly make that work. I don't remember exactly where the game starts you in this biome, but we would want to work our way probably to here, you know, right what's in front of us because we have all the trees, got the water. Um... And, you know, the resources that we would need to survive. We got two ginormous caves right over there that we just visited, you know, that we could get ore plus all the smaller caves that are around. So we might give that a go. We might give that a go. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to basically run home. I don't really have any room to stop and get any more ore. But we have, you know, 200 titanium, which is really nice. That's basically going to... Uh, work out to be 40 ingots for us, I think. Um, so we got that. We got a little more copper, but copper's not as big of a deal because of the fact that we can get that from our drill. And then, um, I'll, you know, I'll think about what's going to happen next. Uh, we're not done yet. I'm not saying that we're, we're completely done. There's still a few more things that I would like to do in this series. But knowing that we can't get into the big river basin does kind of change the dynamic for me a little bit you know i mean one thing we could do of course is we could start running missions on this guy uh, and i'm not necessarily talking about the you know the open world missions that we get from that little stand though we should try some of those too just for the hell of it but i mean going back up to space and doing zephyr and the ones that open stuff up but it kind of removes the struggle, though, of, you know, of the hardcore survival because, you know, we're a maxed out dude. And once we start going up into space and doing those missions, then we have access to the workshop and all that, too. So um, that there's nothing wrong with that. It just cha changes a little bit of the flavor of what kind of what I wanted to, to do with this series. Um, so I just have to think about it, but we'll figure something out. And I will definitely let you know. This was the Crocodile Lake, right? I think it was. Um, so it's... Yeah, it is that lake there. So we never really... Did we ever look at this big lake here? I don't know if we ever did. May, let's just run over there and take a quick look-see at it for the for the funsies. Kind of sworn we saw a crocodile over here. I don't see any right now, though. I just want to take a look at this other real big lake. Are we heading the right direction? We need to go this way. I 
Okay. Yeah, I don't like this lake as much because it's... There's not really a whole lot of features around it. It's just out here. It's big, though. I'm not spotting any crocs. <clears throat> okay, guys. Well, um, I'm going to let you go here. I'll keep the camera rolling in case something crazy happens, but I'm just going to... Uh, work my way back home and then we'll figure out what we'll do for the next episode. There's a few more things you know I want to try. I want to try the extractor vapor vapor condenser thingy you know that you put on the geyser. So we're going to give that a try and uh, there's a couple more things I want to do to the base to finish it off. And then we'll just kind of decide at that point what we're going to do. So with that, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.